When it comes to beat-em-ups for the NES, there are many options, but none are quite as unique as River City Ransom. Many things separate this game from its contemporaries, such as collecting and spending money, leveling up your stats, and the fact that this game is kind of non-linear, meaning that you can go back and forth between screens. What's up guys, Ron Man here, and today we're taking a stroll through the beautiful River City as we review River City Ransom for the NES. You take control of Ryan or Alex, beating up a plethora of gang members with the ultimate goal of saving Ryan's girlfriend from the gang lord Slick. The graphics are pretty well done. The characters have a charming, cartoony look to them, and I think the environments and backgrounds also look great. The music is awesome. Throughout the game, you hear 50s style rock and roll along with some other tunes. Sound effects are satisfying as you beat down members of various gangs. Controls are well done. A is to punch, B is to kick. Pressing both A and B together will allow you to jump, and double tapping left or right in that direction will allow you to run. Like all beat em ups, you'll spend a lot of time fighting. There are many weapons you may obtain, like lead pipes, sticks, although that looks more like a knife, chains, trash cans, crates, tires, brass knuckles, rocks, and lastly, you can actually pick up enemies and swing around or throw them. You encounter many different gangs, and luckily, they're all color coded. For example, the frat guys are pink and the cowboys are blue. There are a total of nine different gangs, and their difficulties vary. As you defeat enemies, they will drop money, and this is essential, as you'll need to buy different foods and beverages to increase your stats. Speaking of stats, there are many to consider. Punch, kick, weapon, throwing, agility, defense, strength, willpower, stamina, and max power. Some of these stats are self-explanatory, but some are not. For example, stamina refers to your health meter, and willpower refers to your ability to revive, so to speak. Going back to spending money, there is a huge list of shops such as bookstores, coffee shops, bread shops, drug stores, fast food restaurants, sushi restaurants, and shoe stores. There are tons of items you can spend your money on throughout the various shops, and I can't possibly cover everything in this video, but most items will increase your stats in some way. Throughout River City, you'll discover many locations such as shopping malls, parks, and warehouses, just to name a few. The game's finale occurs in River City High School, but in order to get there, you need to defeat all the gang bosses, at least the bosses outside the school. Once defeated, the boss will give you a clue as to where the next boss is located. Another great thing about River City Ransom is its two-player co-op, though there is noticeable lag. You also don't have to beat this game in one sitting either, as there is a password option. Unfortunately, it's a really long and tedious password, but it's sure better than nothing. As awesome as this game is, I do have a few nitpicks. For one, sometimes when you enter a new area, an enemy will immediately attack you. You have no time to react. It's kind of cheap. Also, when you die, you lose half your money, so it's kind of annoying when you're saving up to buy something expensive, and after getting your ass handed to you a couple times, you'll have nothing more than pocket change. Can't even buy a drink from the tea bag. Before I offer my score of this game, I'll share a few tips. Upon starting a new game, the first thing you should do is purchase either Stone Hands or Dragon Feet from the bookstore. This item will allow you to punch or kick rapidly. It'll give you an edge in combat. Remember that for those items, you'll need to press Start and press A on Belongings and read the book to learn the technique. It's important to note that each gang offers a set amount of money each time you defeat a member. For example, the generic dudes always drop 50 cents. You'll get more money for defeating more difficult gangs. That being said, bosses always drop more money than typical gang members. Early in the game, you'll encounter the boss duel Benny and Clyde. These guys aren't too tough, and since bosses always respawn, it's a great way to farm for cash as both of these Emmy Award winners offer 250 each. Later in the game, after you've accrued enough money, you should make your way to Happy Feet Shoes located in the Flatirons Mall and buy the Texas Boots. This, along with the Dragon Feet, will make you a powerhouse. So that's River City Ransom. It's one of the best beat-em-ups on the NES, and I highly recommend you play it. It's also available on the Nintendo Switch's online service. I give River City Ransom a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching.